the pace car makes its way to the safety of pit lane. Brandon Pierce and Dick McCaskill through Carson races ten thousand dollars here at Southern National. Lap number one goes to Brandon Pierce, and they're already starting to back up mid-pack. Taylor Gray, meanwhile, change for the lead. Josh Berry in turn number three works around Brandon Pierce. New leader, seven laps into it. Josh Berry takes the Junior Motorsports Chevrolet to the front. Seven laps now. Yep, seven laps. It's your final preview of the day. $10,000 on the line. And Chad McCummy says, I want that, moves to second. Deke McCaskill would like a piece of the pie, too. He now moves up to third. Brandon Pierce slides back to fourth. Early race leader and pole sitter, but still a long way to go in this one. Problems turn number two. Ryan Wilson is around. May have had a little bit of help. Jonathan Finley caught a piece of it, too. But behind him, look at that, Stacey Perrier. Up in front of Justin Carroll. And they're throwing the blocks already. Bradley McCaskill, and look at this. Carroll goes around. McCaskill nearly catches a piece, Deuce. and we are under caution yet again. Thank you, Tyler. Sorry about your ears at home. That's the sound of a racetrack. Look at this, Chad McCombie didn't get going on the restart. Deke McCaskill up to second. Lane Riggs slides in for third, possibly. Brandon Pierce stuck in the wrong lane. He's all the way back to sixth now. Oh, sometimes that right and wrong lane can do everything for you. As you see, Drew Dollar racing teammate Taylor Gray. Meanwhile, ahead of them, though, Bobby McCarty, Brandon Pierce. Again, outside the top ten. Problems for Craig Moore. Craig Moore has slowed, bringing it down to the pit lane. Tyler Williams going to hustle his way down there to the Touring 12 section of pit lane, I am sure. Seven laps of the race. Then begin to fall back as Josh Berry took over. And now we're getting down to crunch time, and it's crunch time for sure. Crunching the rear bumper of Bobby McCarty is Brandon Pierce. He said, dude, I need to go somewhere. And he went right by. Did Brandon Pierce. Now up to position number three. Meanwhile, Brandon Pierce hit the Teak McCaskill. Well, apparently somebody said, dude, you've got to go run down Josh Berry. He's about three quarters of the straightaway ahead of him. And Brandon Pierce going to do just that. That time by a quarter of a second faster than leader Josh Berry. And, all fair. and Berry, you saw briefly a uh, slew. Oh, problems front straight away. Danny Tyrell has gone around and that gap that Brandon Pierce was going to have to make up just shortened substantially. Pace cars in. Berry brings him through the KRC Power Steering restart box. Pierce noses ahead. Barry gets the run on the bottom of the racetrack, though, out of turn number two. With nine to go, Barry the leader throws the block. Preemptively striking, running the bottom. After all, but here comes Pierce. Pierce is there, and everyone, I'm sure, at Junior Motorsports is on the edge of their seat. All the Pulliam fans cheering on Brandon Pierce. Can Pierce get the biggest win of his Cars Tour? Back, back there, the, the only win of his Cars Tour career. Or does Josh Berry take home the five figures? One year ago, it was a dogfight for the win. This year, it's now a three-lap shootout for 10 grand in the season opener. Pierce is there. The car is now come to him. The pressures are up. The temperatures are where he wants them to be. Josh Berry on defense. Oh, and Pierce Spoon nearly spins him in turn number four. Two laps to go. Class move by Brandon Pierce to let him gather it back in and not dump him for the lead. But you know Josh Berry is shaking in his shoes. He knows Pierce is there. He knows the bumper can and will be used. One lap to decide who is going to win $10,000 at Southern National. Pierce into the back bumper of Berry. Moves him up the racetrack on the final lap into turn number three. Barry hits the brakes. Does he return the favor? He can't get there. 
Brandon Pierce is going to win $10,000 in the Solid Rock Carriers 300, presented by SRI Performance. A last lap bump and run pass, and he'll claim his very first Cars Tour win and his first outing with Lee Pulliam Performance.